Let's take a few breaths together. Take a deep breath in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, release, two, three, four. Let's do that again. Take a deep breath in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, release, two, three, four. One more time. Take a deep breath in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, release, two, three, four. Excellent. Continue to breathe deeply in and out. I want you to listen to the sound of my voice and my voice alone. Any noise you might hear, it's okay. It's just life happening and it can wait. This is your time. This meditation will be different than maybe what you're used to. This meditation brings transformation by rewiring your brain and heart at the same time. When you have your inner witnesses of your brain and your heart agree, things shift fast. The voice of your mind is what directs your brain and your brain feeds your heart with that information, also running 95% of your actions. So, since the voice of your mind is sending the information, that is what this meditation will do. Activate your inner voice to create the transformation you seek. Every 10 seconds, our brain checks in with the voice of our mind. It uses that information to create a prediction in order to influence your next move. This is why this meditation works so well. It's designed to give your brain a new internal dialogue. Your internal dialogue is only a belief, a story. It's how you're wired to succeed. Words matter because they become matter. Words become flesh, eventually. As you continue to nurture the story you believe, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Your brain needs this to create a new self-fulfilling prophecy, the one you actually want. In this meditation, we are rewiring our minds around resting in God. Hebrews 4 reminds us that there remains a rest for the people of God and that we should make every effort to enter that rest. We will use words as a mechanism to help you enter God's rest. Matthew 11 shows us that Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is important to remember because these are thoughts that you are now receiving and thoughts are the foundation of your actions. So if you want to experience true rest, you just need to embody new thoughts about resting in God. We're shown this in Proverbs 4.23 in the GNT, where we are reminded that what we think about is what is created. You're literally one embodied thought away from what you want. Words are seeds. Thoughts internalize, materialize. They will eventually take form in your reality. It is not a matter of if, but when. Every seed has its own due season. I will now speak as the voice of your mind, giving directions to your beautiful brain. Since every 10 seconds, our brain checks in with the voice of our mind. This is one reason we're told to speak things that be not as though they were, 
your brain is leading you right to what you are continually saying. You can either repeat what I'm saying, nod your head, rock back and forth, or simply by the listening of this audio, we're coming into agreement around this for you. Let's begin. I will now speak as the voice of your mind. I now give you brain, new thoughts to think about, so that you can create this into my reality. I command you brain to execute the following. It's a lie that resting in God is difficult and unattainable. It is a lie that resting in God is difficult and unattainable. It's a lie that resting in God is difficult and unattainable. My entire being responds quickly and easily to entering God's rest. My entire being responds quickly and easily to entering God's rest. My entire being responds quickly and easily to entering God's rest. It's a lie that I have to struggle and strive to find peace and rest. It is a lie that I have to struggle and strive to find peace and rest. It's a lie that I have to struggle and strive to find peace and rest. I bridle my body and mind with my words. I speak peace and rest over myself. My body and mind obey my commands for effortless entry into God's rest. I am blessed with the ability to trust God completely and rest in his finished work. I bridle my body and my mind with these words. I speak peace and rest over myself. My body and mind obey my commands for effortless entry into God's rest. I am blessed with the ability to trust God completely and rest in his finished work. I bridle my body and my mind with these words. I speak peace and rest over myself. My body and mind obey my commands for effortless entry into God's rest. I am blessed with the ability to trust God completely and rest in his finished work. I disallow these lies that resting in God is hard and unattainable to continue to work in me and therefore through me into my life. Your work is now null and void. I call for a crop failure. I disallow these lies that resting in God is hard, that it's unattainable. I disallow it to continue to work in me and therefore through me into my life. Your work is now null and void. I call forth a crop failure. I disallow these lies that resting in God is hard and unattainable to continue to work in me and therefore threw me into my life. Your work is now null and void. I call for a crop failure. My body and mind naturally and effortlessly enter into God's rest. My body and mind naturally and effortlessly enter into God's rest. My body and mind naturally and effortlessly enter into God's rest. God aligns my entire being with his perfect rest. Today is no exception. God aligns my entire being with his perfect rest. Today is no exception. God aligns my entire being with his perfect rest. Today is no exception. I yield the voice of my mind. I command you, brain, 
to take directions from the voice of the mind of Christ within me around this. I yield the voice of my mind, and I command you, brain, to take directions from the voice of the mind of Christ within me around this. I yield the voice of my mind, and command you, brain, to take directions from the voice of the mind of Christ within me around this. My desired reality is now catching up to these truths. I easily make choices that lead to rest, whether they're small decisions or big lifestyle changes. My body and mind crave God's peace. I enjoy spending time in God's presence. I walk in rest and peace daily. My desired reality is now catching up to these truths. I easily make choices that lead to rest, whether they're small decisions or big lifestyle changes. My body and mind crave God's peace. I enjoy spending time in God's presence. I walk in rest and peace daily. My desired reality is now catching up to these truths. I easily make choices that lead to rest, whether they're small decisions or big lifestyle changes. My body and mind crave God's peace. I enjoy spending time in God's presence. I walk in rest and peace daily. This is a gift from God. He passionately loves me. This is a gift from God. He passionately loves me loves me. This is a gift from God. He passionately loves me. This is my chosen belief that thereby creates the new predictions that you will make rain and therefore into my reality. I seal this now in my brain in the name of my King Jesus. Rain, you have your orders. Execute it. So be it.